just in thing. You not try. No. Ah, no, no, no. You not try at all. Hey. My gang gang. Hmm. In as much as I don't support Cora, some of the things she does, but this time, Justin Dean did not try at all. This is not the way. Are you not the one that openly came out and told everybody, the world, that you don't want to marry again, that you are fed up of marrying Cora, that she was a chronic cheat, that this, that, that. You said so many things about her. Leaving this woman with a newly born child, Ha! Now again, you don't come again, come with another wahala for her just because she is trying to live her life. Just because you see her on social media, she traveling one place to the other, going for her concerts, trying to make her money, trying to take care of her children. Now you come, they bring wahala for her head again. Ever since all this divorce saga started, Cora Obedi has single handedly with receipts, with proof, she has come out to say that she has been taking care financially of the two girls. Their education, they have medical upkeep, everything. Just he didn't ever bring anyone than himself. He even said that he's not going to pay any money until the final judgment is done. So till then, won't your kids be eating? Won't they be dressing up, clothing, and their medical upkeeps? All that and more is on Cora's head. You are still not satisfied. You have come again with another one again this time. Oh my God, which kind of man is this? Is it a bad thing that Cora just took you? Because yes, it's Cora that made you who you are. I know, I know some people will not be accept this one. I'm not, I'm not in favor of any of them. But what you've seen is what we are saying. Cora have said it time without number. And we have said it that before nobody knew Justin Dean. Justin Dean is now known because of Cora. Cora made him who he is today. We should not forget this aspect. But still like that, Cora has never come out to boast, to brag, to say that this or that. But Justin Dean will just stay in one corner, be put, putting much, much problem on her, putting more fire, putting more fuel into the fire. Ah, uh ah, -uh. can't you co-parent peacefully? Can't there be a peaceful co-parenting? Anyway, my gang gang, I'm going to be dropping the full clip for you guys to watch for yourself. Not be me talking more. Don't come and ask me that Jessica, what is? No, you guys should listen for yourself what Justin did has just done to Cora Obidi. Like I said, me, I'm not in support of any of them. Oh. Cora is not the best person for you to support, but at the same time, this time around, Justin did you not try. My gang gang, thank you so much. Please share my video, subscribe, and all those good stuff. Thank you. Be emotional. Today has just been a roller coaster. Emotional roller coaster, but we move. Okay, so um, a lot of things have been going on in my life that I've been very quiet about, especially with the divorce ongoing. It's still not finalized. And today, something incredible that has really shifted my perspective based on everything that's been going on with my divorce just happened. Um, I just wanted to bring to light a couple of things that have gone on since I've been mute and quiet, but it's not really to anybody's, it's not really helping anybody at this point to be mute and quiet and, and not grovel and not, um, to not grovel and not do anything. On, I just got from my lawyer. Thank you guys for all the support that you have been giving towards this case and everything. I just got from my lawyer that um, our brother in the Lord, my ex has filed for my children to be immediately taken away from me, um, but was denied by a judge. He also is asking for spousal support. Um, and I have been paying our children's school fees since February till now, which is approximately 1800 per month on my own. Um, I was going to be quiet about this because this is stretched. It's literally stretched beyond, it is beyond stretched. This has to be the longest divorce I've ever, I've ever seen in my life, but <laughs> it doesn't end. It, it's not ending, and it's not, it's not ending. Hey! <laughs> um, 
um it's not ending guys so um he wants spousal support says that i am causing him mental health um um and so he wants spousal support for me he also is filing to take my children 100 percent like he doesn't want their children to be with their mother and then he comes and in the group and he's saying oh um i left because of the drama but granting interviews to bloggers Hey, mama. Hey. But granting interviews to bloggers, and now um, he was denied by a judge when he asked for the children full custody. But now he's asking for spousal support. I was gonna not talk about this anymore. Not, you know, th but this is not ending. It's unending, and the more I don't wanna grovel, I don't wanna, you guys are going through divorce with me. You're going through divorce with me. This is what is happening. I have been paying eighteen hundred on child's on um, school fees and health insurance for my daughters since February. This man has not contributed one dollar just for me to just for me to get something for my attorney today, telling me point plain that he is asking for spousal support and. He is asking for basically my children to immediately, it's called an expert, be immediately taken away from me. Yes, yes. Um, Co-parenting peace is a lie. This is not what co-parenting in peace looks like. And I'm thankful, Chukunam. I'm thankful that the judge and people are seeing through all of this ruse. I think that if you, I think that it's time for us to just sue for defamation. I think that it's time for us to just, I think it's time for us to go in, guys, because I literally just got, he wants me to start to pay him now. He wants me to pay him money, spousal support. And I was going to be quiet about this. But silence is only once you've been intimidated to silence. That's what happens. I will never teach my children silence. This man, I met him. I'm not going to say anything about it, but I, God knows that I helped him to grow to the best of my ability. My entire life was dedicated to him. And now he felt something to rip me, separate me from my daughters. How is that helping my daughters? If you care about the children, why are you hurting the mother? I just got this from my lawyer. Thank God that it was denied. Thank God that it was denied by the, my the law. Um, thank God that the law in. Thank God that the law is playing fair, and thank God that they're not looking at any skin. I, I'm just grateful that it was denied. I'm not supposed to put air this, but I'm not gonna be intimidated to silence. And you guys have been with me. You've been my support since the jump. So I'm not gonna hide this either because I know hiding it is not hiding it is not is not strength, it's it's failure. And I want to put this behind. I want us to settle in peace, co-parent in peace. This is what I want to do by God's grace. This is what I want to do. And then I and then I'm seeing all of this. We can't sleep on this anymore. There's been defamation in this case. He has called me all sorts of things. He has done all sorts of things. There's been a lot and we're just, we can't sleep on it anymore. There's no co-parenting in, in peace because this is not how peace works. This is not how peace works. So, um, it's been, it's been, <laughs> wow. I just want to live my life, cruise my cruise and vibe my vibe. <laughs> and then this happens. 
but we move. <laughs> um, it was the night. Um, however, it's no longer peace. 